Uh, but now it's been uh, hard rumors that uh, Joshua's going to move forward with another trainer where he's probably going to have a tune-up fight. Uh, what's your overall thoughts? You know, how, how was it uh, with Joshua? Have you talked to him lately? And do you think at this moment just uh, – I, I don't want to say it in a bad way, but like jumping to trainer to trainer is – the right decision for him and now, or is it just, again, the pressure that he has all around him? I think, you know what, uh, Anthony Joshua is a great person, man. He's a great athlete, uh, very talented, but just that, he's just a natural, you know. Uh, he did call me, you know, he called me, and he told me that he was going to come to the States to look around. You know, I have no problem with that. I, I told him that's the best thing you could do, you know, but... Uh, but I, you know, I've said it since day one, you know, the, the best thing for him to do is, is train the States. And from what I understand, that's what he's going to do. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he's going to end up being with, uh, with James, with Derek James, which mm -hmm. is a great trainer, man. You know, especially if you, if, 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 if uh, Anthony comes and trains around in Errol Spence, Charlo, you know, that, that new kid uh, that he Frank has. Martin. Frank Martin. Frank Martin. Frank Martin very very talented fighters so i i said it since mm -hmm. when i left uh you know england to come back to the states i told everybody the whole team that's what anthony needs he needs to be around real fighters uh, you know real training camps and uh it sucks you know i would have loved him to come to riverside and continue training with me but uh but i you know i also don't blame him you know i you know everybody you know <clears throat> they, and, and in spanish simply they say most el sol sale para todos you know, mm -hmm. so, you know, I, I continue working. I'm really busy with all my fighters. You know, I yeah. have Franco, Franco, who just had a badass performance in Tokyo. I have Bam fighting in, in April. Jose Ramirez is going to fight March. March. So I, I, I continue being really, really busy. But it would have been so much easier for me, for Anthony, just to come to Riverside, be part of my training camp. And, and be part of, you know, training, you know, with Jose, with Bam, with Josh, you know, Mikey would still be around. You know what I mean? It, it would have been, it would have been awesome. But, you know, it's going to be the same way, you know, training with Derrick James. If he, if he choose, if he chose Derrick James, you know, around fighter like Charlo, Aerospace can't get any better. You know what I mean? So, so for him making that decision to train in the States, the best decision he could have made. You think you know if if possibly, which is the rumor that it's that it's uh, like I said, it's a hard rumor. He goes with Derek James and he gets a tuna fight, which they say he might have a tuna fight in in April and moves forward. And we get that fight that we all want to see the Tyson Fury fight versus him. Do you possibly believe that he can beat him and as well if an opportunity comes around to fight Usyk again? You think he can beat both of them? Well, so look, so far, so far, it looks like like what I told everybody before I left, it's happening. They came to the United States. They're training in the United States. Uh, that's that's already the beginning. I think that's that's great. That's the best thing he could have done. It looks like they're gonna have a, they're gonna have a tuna fight, which is another thing that I told them. You know, they they brought me in to fight Usyk. You know, they brought me in to prepare him to fight Usyk, which he had already lost. He had already clearly lost uh, in the previous fight. So they brought me in on a very tough moment. You know. To, to train Usyk, who is pound for pound, if not the best, one of the best fighters in the world. So it was very difficult. You know, I told everybody, Anthony needs to come back with two or three tuna fights, get them ready, you know, fight. And then and then after that, then go after the, the title, you know, go after a world champion. Uh, by that time, who knows, man? Maybe, maybe the titles are going to be vacant because yeah. if... If Fury and Usyk fight, maybe the winner most likely will retire. You know, they're going to make hundreds of millions of dollars. So maybe the winner re retires, and then there's going to be four vacant titles. So Anthony Joshua, 100%, will, will fight for a vacant title. So that's that's what I advised, and, and I think it looks like that's the direction they're taking. I think that's the best thing for him to do, become a three-time heavyweight champion of the world. Fight two, three tuna fights in the meantime. Let Fury and 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 uh, Usyk fight Usyk. each other, beating <clears throat> on each other, and then the winner maybe vacates the titles. That's the perfect idea. That's the perfect plan. And 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 uh, that would have been my choice if I was the one in charge and handling his career. But from so far, it looks like it is going that direction. Talking about Teofimo Lopez, uh, we obviously saw his performance against Sandor Martin, and I'm sure you heard about the comments where he said, does he still have it? Do I have it in me? 
you know, Timothy Bradley, when I spoke with him after the fight, he's like, hey, man, like your head's not there. You need to get your you need to get your crap together at this moment. And then we also saw Regis Progre's uh, performance over a great performance of Chon Cepeda, a uh, good fight. And Regis has stepped forward and said, hey, I want Teofimo. Hey, I want to fight Teofimo. Give me Teofimo. Like, I'll, I'll beat him down. Like, I, it'll be a massacre. And Rick Morrigan, I'm sure you know Rick Morrigan. He said, hey, man, that's that's going to – Regis is going to be sent to jail to what he does to Teofimo. What's your overall thoughts about that fight? Do you think Regis Progress is just is just a, a different type of animal that our people don't appreciate at this moment? It could possibly be Teofimo Lopez? Yeah, you know, the, the problem with Regis is that he's signed to a company that doesn't work here in the States or doesn't work with many of the, <clears throat> with any of the promoters here in the States. So that he's always gonna have that problem. You know, that's 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 a problem. But Regis should be in the mix with all those guys, man. There's so many fighters at 140 that that are big names, big stars, guys moving up in weight from 135 to 140 that are soon are going to move up in weight. There's just huge fights, but he's just, you know, it sucks that Regis is is in the wrong location, you know, wrong place. But uh, he's great, man. He's strong. He's solid. He, he's great for for boxing, he's great for that division. So that that's the only problem, you know. I I think I think uh, I think. Uh, him and, and Teofimo, especially after Teofimo's last performance, well, you know, I think the odds are going to be way up, you know, in favor of Riches. But uh, but Teofimo, you know, he's young. The thing is that Teofimo is young and Teofimo needs to make a few changes. There's there's some fighters that are able to do it, you know, but there's some that, that just won't, you know. It's just, you know, I really don't know how Teofimo is, but uh, there's just some that are able to to, to change Stuff like that. Some fighters have personal problems, have wife problems, have kids problems. They go out there and fight and perform better than ever because they just there's just different mentalities. Uh, you know, I, I you know Tofim is a great person. He's a good fighter for boxing too. So I would love to see him perform well and get well and 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 do the right thing. Maybe uh, have better training camps. I don't know his training camps, but maybe have better training camps. Maybe have better sparring partners. I don't know. But uh, you know, he's I know he's got a great management team. I know who they are and they're great. But uh, you know, I think I think it has to do in, in the gym, you know. And and a lot of times it's also whoever's talking to him, you know, <clears throat> the trainer not only becomes a trainer, but sometimes you have to become the uh the uh the doctor, the psychologist, the uh you know what I mean? It's just yes. man, I'm telling you from since 2003 when I started training fighters, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> A lot of them could tell you, fuck, you know, knowing, you know, knowing Robert, uh, the way he talked to us made a big difference, you know, from Brandon Rios to Josh Franco more recently, you know, Bam, <coughs> other guys, you know, uh, the trainer also has to know how to deal with stuff like that. You can't just go train your fighter and fuck his life, fuck whatever he does outside of boxing. No, you got to know that, you know, there's personal problems. There's, you know, there's a, there, there's a life out there, you know that you know makes a big difference sometimes the dad sometimes the mom sometimes the wife the girlfriend the kids uh, you have to learn how to deal with all that you talked you touched on on you t you talked about the trainer situation for for Teofimo we obviously know that it's his father um and and it's not to be disrespectful because uh, obviously uh and that never comes from your end Robert you've always been respectful for everybody there's never controversy with you with uh, any comments you say but but do you believe that Teofimo should should change trainer because you know he, he's had his father since he's been a kid. He's had his his father so long that maybe everything that is just saying, como se dice en español, se te un oído y te sale del otro. So maybe it's just like it's it's maybe not click anymore. Do you think it's just that's where he needs to start, or maybe he just or maybe the father can't detach, or what do you think that should be the situation at that moment? Well, I, I I love Junior. You know, uh, Teofimo's dad. He's he's you know he's one that I call Junior. Uh, he, uh, he's a great friend of mine, bro. I, I, I you know, I, I, I'd hate to say, you know, oh yeah, Tofimo needs to get rid of him because mm -hmm. he's my friend, bro. And, you know, they come to my gym, they spar every time I see him. He's very friendly to me. We, you know, I know him very well. You know, he's a great person. Uh, but there is those moments where, where the, the trainer himself or the dad needs to realize that maybe they need a, some, something else in the team, not, because you're not good. Look, look, look at what, what he did with his son throughout his amateur career. 
Look mm -hmm. at what he, you know, he made him an Olympian. He made him a world champion. So obviously you're great at what you do, you know, Junior, you know, mm -hmm. he, he's great at, at, at what he does. He's a great trainer. What he did with his son is, is unbelievable. But come the time where there is a lot of popularity, a lot of <clears> money <throat> involved, people, new people involved in your, in, in, in your life. And like you said, Something goes into one and then goes out the other. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is the case, you know. Uh, you know, I don't I don't want to be the one saying that's what he needs to do, but I wouldn't I would it wouldn't be a bad idea to try something different, you know. Maybe just bringing somebody in, you know, somebody new just to to help out. It would probably help out.